Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we're going to be playing Foggy Parity Arrows. Um, so I'm still working back through all these highly rated 2 star difficulty rated puzzles that have come out in the last few days and there's a few of them from Sir Moose that seem to center around the idea of arrows, so arrows was clearly in our future. Now I picked this one for one reason only, is that the other one has Winduku in it. And I was planning to get back to the quality cages. And there's a Winduku one that I'm hoping to solve for tomorrow. I mean, let's see if that will actually go according to plan. Um, so instead, I'm actually going to be solving one that includes fog. Oh, I, I, I understand you guys are saying shock, horror, we're very disappointed. Um, now, because we're talking about parity arrows, you can see that Sleuth here has got a blue arrow and an orange arrow, kind of representing the usual colors we do with parity puzzles. And of course, he's in, surrounded by fog all over. Uh, let's take a look at today's puzzle and rule sets. I'm, I'm not as intimidated by this one as I was with the morning one, but I think it's just familiarity of words, if nothing else. Let's take a look at today's puzzle with Foggy Parity Arrows by Sir Moose. Rules-wise, we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So that means place the digits 1 to 9 once each in every row, every column, and then every 3x3 three three box. Then we have even digits cannot orthogonally cannot be orthogonally adjacent to even digits. Notice Sir Moose only said that about the even digits. The odd digits can actually be connected to one another. That is very unfortunate. Right, so if this cell here is 2, 4, 6, or 8, as in it's even. This cell cannot be even because it is orthogonally connected. It would have to be from 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. As would these three, in fact, these other two. So all of the orthogonally connected cells have to be odd. Interesting. Right, what else do we have? Digits along an arrow must sum to the digits in the arrow circles. Arrows may not intersect or cross, but may begin in the same cell. Again, Interesting. So, uh, if this cell is 2, this cell is 1, these two cells add up to 3, this would have to be in here. Now, the thing about arrows not intersecting or crossing, I think is going to help us when it comes to this, that the idea is that these, this is kind of the arrow, and sorry, this is the entire arrow for the circle. Yeah, because it's clearly going in here, and this line is clearly going in there. And we know it doesn't belong to a different one, because otherwise it would be intersecting in this cell. So I think that's kind of how we're meant to use that rule. Then last but not least, kind of fairly obvious statement, some of the grid is covered in fog. Placing the correct digit will clear the surrounding, fog, uh, surrounding cells, and no guessing is required. So if this cell is 4, essentially all of these cells that are now covered in fog will be revealed, and will show us hopefully more clues to allow us to progress. So, that's all the rules we have for today. I know you guys love a fog puzzle, so this is going to be right up your alley. Link in the description down below as usual for you to play. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. So when I initially glanced at the rules, I was thinking that that means that these have to be odd, this would have to be even, and then you repeat the logic in here. Um, because you don't want the odd digits and the, um, you know, essentially something that looks like this. That was my initial assumption. But that's an invalid assumption because there is nothing wrong with me having a double orange, as in two odd digits orthogonally connected and even in here. As long as this is odd and this is odd, I fulfilled that rule around even digits cannot be orthogonally adjacent. Maybe. Let's think about it a bit more. So, we on, we have still have to place three even digits. And one option, I guess, would be something along these lines. I think it would be forced at that point, because any, any other option... Yeah, 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 because I've got five cells to place. Three of them are even, 
So of course I have to go for this pattern, this checkerboard pattern. Otherwise, the evens are going to be touching. Where am I going with this? So in a way, I think we're always talking about a checkerboard pattern of some sort. And the answer is for evens, either they're checkerboarded as such, or they're checkerboarding through the middle, and it'll be some four cells as such. So essentially, it's either four of these five, or it's always these four. And then we kind of have to alternate between boxes, otherwise across boxes, you know, if I if I did kind of the these the plus sign again, then they'll be touching. So in essence, I have to always alternate across orthogonally adjusting, uh, orthogonally touching boxes. Right, kind of useful. But then what I need to do is use all of these arrows that have been given in box six, including these cells, to try and figure out what is it saying? Right, so let's let's try this pattern. So one pattern is something as such. Admittedly, right, let, let's humor me. I know this is I'm gonna be able to come up with edge cases that um, break what I'm showing you here. But this pattern seems to essentially fit, where the evens are going in that crisscross shape, they are in the plus shape, and then again crisscross. And essentially, two evens make an even, two evens make an even, odd and an even make an odd, odd and an even make an odd. So it all works out. Now, I'm kind of wondering, does the alternative option work? And my guess is it, oh, no, it doesn't. You see, it immediately breaks in box six because if this is even, hang on, let me, let me see if I can make this work. So let's think about this crisscross option again. I'd have to, I have the option of removing one of them. The challenge I have is with the arrows is even whichever one I remove, I can make it work in terms of parities, two odds make an even, but then the other arrow is broken because I have an odd and an even make an even, which is impossible. And I'm pretty sure there is no combination yeah, if I do something as follows, odds, odds, yeah, I can't place four evens. Interesting. I'm, I'm going with it. I think I'm right about this, that this has to be the even pattern in here. Now, it doesn't, no, yes, it does. It does say that we have to follow this crisscross pattern, but it doesn't necessarily say, hmm, no, hang on. Um, I'm pretty sure it does say that these two have to be even because my alternatives are two are odd. And then I have to try and place the evens in these three cells. And obviously, where does the fourth go? Whatever I place it, it would always be touching uh, another even digit. So these two have to be even and these two have to be even with the exact same logic. Right. Now I think we're on to something. Now this is at least two, four. So yeah, we've got something. This is six, eight, um, because the minimum, since these two are in the same box, is two and four to get to six. And therefore this is a minimum of six. And therefore these two are six, eight, and these two are two, four. And these are all odd. And, you know, I'm not going to say we have a break in, but we have something. Clearly, these are two, four. I think we have our first digit. 
because this is two or four, these are going to have to be from two, four, six, and one of them is a six. Because I can't have them both be two, four, what would this digit be? So the six would have to be joined with a two, then an eight. Then the other side would be six. And this would be the four, this would be the two. Let me kind of remove the pencil marks and show you what I'm thinking. Essentially, I'm working my way towards proving that this is four. So one of these sides, it doesn't matter for now, is going to have the six. And therefore, this would have to be two to stand the chance of getting to an eight. Now, remember, that was two, four. So this would be four. This would have to be two because this is getting to six. And then six and two forces this to be a four. Four, two. Obviously, the two wasn't very useful. It doesn't, <laughs> nothing was covered in fog. Um, not four. All of these now are obviously odd. These clearly have to be odd as well to separate these two. Three cells. So this is almost certainly the circle. I can't have four cells. So this is going to be something. And can I do one, two, three? No. I think I can. Because you see, this will be six. The two couldn't be here. The two couldn't be here. I could do two, one, three, and then six. No, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't. Right. Um, I, I forgot all about the whole crisscrossing thing. So essentially, by having a plus in here, I have to sort of have four of these as even, and these are definitely odd. So this can't be an even digit. So six and eight are out. This is seven or nine. And it, I was going to say it can't be nine because I can't do two, three, four, but I absolutely could. I could have two and four and three, and nothing says that I actually have to do two, three, four. I could do one, three, five for all that matters. No, but one of these has to be even. Yes, both of these have to be even, plus a nod to get to an odd digit. So these are definitely even. Now, if it is seven, obviously these are two, four, and one. If it is nine, let's kind of remember the options for nine. I mean, this obviously could be two, four, three, but the other options are one, two, six, and then one, three, five. One, three, five doesn't work because all three would have to be odd, then a fourth odd, and then I'm not gonna be able to fit in four evens that are not orthogonally touching. So that's not a valid option. But one with two and six is, and that means that there is always a two in one of these cells. It's not a lot to go on, if I'm honest. Not a lot to go on at all. Maybe we need to think about these arrows a bit more. If this is one, this is three. Technically, I could still do five, nine, seven. So like, there isn't even a minimum that would break. I do know that this is one, three, or five, because five is the maximum. I do know that this is one, three, five, seven. I do know that this is at least five, seven, or nine. This doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. This is not where I should be taking this. Right, we can... Right, I'm sorry, I'm awake again. These are definite. These are definite. Then we've got, of course, the possibilities in here. Then another definite option. These have to be six, eight. Right, that's not even. These are even. Um, this is definitely odd. This is, these are all odd. So like, I think we've got the pattern down. I mean, it's insane to think that I've basically got almost the entire parity of this grid. I'm pretty sure this has to be odd. So one, so best case, yeah, I can't have even in here, it's touching and, okay. And then, and, 
No, all the way around. And definite odds. Right. Now I'm fairly sure, yeah, because this has to be odd as such, I'm fairly sure these two have to be even otherwise I've used too many odds in the column and I've placed four odds in the row. There is at least one, maybe two, so there's at least, yeah, I don't know. Okay. So these are four, six, eights. I mean, I'm, I'm going to stop in a second and just see if I can actually figure out what's going on. But that is most of the parity done. And obviously, like, I mean, the ones with a flash, I need to figure out what they're doing. In a sec, I say a second, it might take me like another 10 minutes by the time I get there, but. Right, let's see if we can take this forward a bit. So these are 468, not very useful. I need more logic. Need more clues. No one or three. So the one is definitely in here, it can't be there. Sadly, the three can be here, we've proven that. So, no, what, no, hang on, it, it doesn't work. No, it does, it does. I'd put the five in here. This would be nine, this would be seven. Ignore that. I think what I'm saying though is this can't be more than 135, but I'm jumping ahead quite a few steps here. Let me see if I can reason through it and explain what I'm thinking. So obviously I can do much larger digits. I can do seven and nine in here. And therefore that would be five, that would be one, that would be seven. And I could do one nine. So yeah, ignore what I just said. No, I didn't. What if, so if this is nine, obviously there are no nines in here. If this is seven, obviously no sevens, no nines in here. If this is five. Well, I've got five, seven, nine, and this is one, three. So the only possibility is three in here, in which case that would be one this would be essentially seven or nine because one and three are gone. So that would be nine, seven, and then five. So that is always one, three, five. I was correct. It really doesn't feel like we have enough information. What am I missing? So I did say this would have to be two, six, and then eight, and then six, and then four, and two. And then one of these two cells is eight. So if this is two, six, eight, and then this side would be four. If this is four, two, I mean, again, eight, this would be six. I mean, not, like none of these seem to be a problem. Well, whichever one is the six, the other side would be the six. Whichever side is the six, this would be two. So the two would be in here. So the two and the six. And then one would have four in the middle. And then one of them would have eight. Then again, this would be, yeah, I'm not, Making progress. How do I make progress? It's got to be about the arrow. It's got to be about this three cell arrow, but I just like, I think there's so many legitimate options.
let's do this two four six eight not very useful I also don't know what these are I know one of these is four so that would be six eight that would be two the other one where it is two this could be six eight this could be four so like it's any of them do i need to color the evens So one of them is two, which would make the other side four. For the side that is two, this would be four or six. We know that one of these is eight, big deal. And it'll be an eight kind of almost X-wing. And then the other side would be two, four or six. Sorry, it'll be four or six. We, we really are making progress. It's gotta be the arrows gone around in circles a few times saying that now let's try a few things one and four would make this five this would be forced to be seven and nine and this would be three one four five the three you know can't belong in here because two and three would be five so it would have to be seven and then nine and then this three would make this a one And because it's a one, technically I could still do two six, but it would have to be two four to get to seven because this would be nine. But so far I'm not breaking anything. If this is three, this is seven, I think that would break. Because the nine is not reachable, the five no, if this is three, this is seven. Yeah, that breaks. Because essentially I'd have one, five, and nine left as the remaining odd digits. And then none of them could be reached with a difference of two. So I'd remove the three from here, the seven from there. So there is always a five in here. And it's either one, five, or five, nine. Interesting. Now, if it's five, nine, well, the seven would have to hide in the middle, and this would be one, three. If it's one and five, the three would have to hide in the middle, and this would be seven and nine. Interesting. There is always a nine in one of these two cells now, because it's either five and nine, or it's one and five, and seven and nine. So that's always a seven. And therefore this is one. This is two four pair. This is a six eight pair. We have an odd plus an even to get to an odd, but we also know what this is because that can't be one. This can't be eight. That's six. That's eight. This is three. And this is nine. I know the fact that I've colored everything makes you know, it doesn't really give you the normal satisfaction of fog where you get to see the gray disappear. You can just about tell the difference, just about slightly darker blues and oranges versus slightly lighter blues and oranges. But I'm pretty comfortable with what I'm doing at this point. Six means that's the eight, and therefore this is the six two option. This is the four two option. That's not a four. That's not six either because I can't have one, two, three in here. So that is the eight option. And this is not one, two, five. It has to be one, three, four because again, no two. So the odd, sorry, the even option from one, three, four is a four in here and then a one, three pair. 
this eight gave me a six all the way down here. This is incredible. Just to be able to reveal just random things like nowhere near where the fog is at this point. One, three, one. Uh, this is the six, of course. I actually haven't resolved these. Must be something I'm missing. I'll think about it a bit more. The two and four, not resolved either. This is not eight or four. This is six. This is not six. That's eight. You can see that this arrow is almost certainly going through the two, four, and then getting to this cell. But I mean, it's a nine anyway, so we know what this is. And it is two cells, so it's two with seven or four with five. All of which is available. Almost certainly no. Hang on, they, they can actually be the same digit. So I was thinking that this is almost certainly two cells. Because... No, this isn't even. I don't actually have to place an even digit in here. Yeah, ignore what, what I'm about to say. Right, four. This is not four or six, so this is two eight pair. And this is four, which will show me that this is indeed, yeah, two cells, and therefore this is another four. And this has to be even for sure. Took a while to get going, but now that it's going, it's just incredible. Um, I haven't placed, oh, I was going to say I haven't placed three. And this can't be three, so this is the only place for three. That means these are not threes. Three has to be in here with a one, and therefore this is the five and nine. One five pair, we'll figure that out in a second. That is a seven, and therefore that can't be an eight. This has to be six, one, five. And it feels like we're almost on the home stretch now. I know way too early to say that, but feels that way. So if there is a two, actually, let's do this easier. This is not six. This is not six. That's the only place for six. So that is a definite. And then one of these is two. And four, again, same trick. That is four. And then one of these is eight. Can I do the same trick with six? No. Yes, six. Not here, not there. Oh, no, hang on. It's just one of these two. And eight, no. Right, it's okay. I was trying to see if I can figure out all the even flashes, but the answer is not quite. We know what this is. That's six, so we can. None of these are six. That's the only place for six. And then we've got eight up here. Um, okay, and only one cell. Therefore, this has to be a two, four pair. And they are definite. And then one of these is eight. Right, six pointing towards an odd digit, which can't be one. That's three, that's nine. These are a three, seven pair. These are, well, I mean, the only place for a one is down here, and therefore this is five, and therefore this is seven. This is another pair of five and nine, I'm going to say. Essentially, I've got one, seven, nine. It's not that restricted. No, I want a pencil mark it. Let me just have a look around. I mean, the colors, unfortunately, means that I can barely see the arrows, but I think I've basically used all of them at this point. And the way to solve this sort of deadly pattern of two fours would be whatever this cell is. So this is five, seven, or nine, because we already placed one or three, and it's not seven. This is five or nine. And then next to the eight is a five, seven, or nine. Okay. And then there's a one in here. No. 
four course two four and not a two is a two that is the eight that is not the eight that is the eight that is not even this has to be even and from the two options this is not the two that's the eight that's the two that's the eight this is not even eight in here gives me eight there and i think i've got all the evens and all the flashes are gone and all the remaining cells are out. fantastic now from my sanity I'm genuinely tempted to remove all the oranges in blue just so that I can actually see a bit better. So I am going to do that. I'm going to remove all the colors. It has it helped? I've revealed the entire fog. Right. Um, never mind. <laughs> one's not here. One's not there. One is here. One is there. If I can type. Five, seven, nine. This is not five. Five is in one of these two. This is seven or nine. And this is another seven or nine. And there are no arrows, so this is just Sudoku now to finish. These are just known digits. I say known digits. Yeah, yeah they are. Nine, seven, five, one and three. And therefore, five, seven, nine, seven. And then one and three, this is three, one, three. Excellent. One and nine, not resolved. Seven and five are resolved. Seven, three. One, five or nine. It's not five, it's one or nine, which means that's the five, that's the nine, that's one, that's nine, that's one. Therefore, that would be a mistake. <laughs> um, how did I do that? Because it needs to be five and it isn't. Of course, it could be three. And this could be five. Never mind. And this is nine. Oh, that seven gave me the two and the four, the two. And yeah, that's it. We're done. It's a stunning puzzle, Sir Moose. You really do create some very clever puzzles. Really clever puzzles. I'm really looking forward to how you guys get on with it. This was fantastic. That's two puzzles with like really unique logic to them. Uh, and I immensely enjoyed it. I hope that they're the right difficulty. It is two stars. So I expect for you guys, this is going to be approachable. Just you need to be persistent. Hope that you guys enjoyed the puzzle and video. See you back soon. Bye bye for now.